Dude. Okay. All right. Let me. Holy shit. Let me do like a top five. My favorite games of all time. All right. All right. All right. Here we go, chat. Here we go. I would like to point out before I make these bold opinions that these are my opinions and they are not yours, which means that they, they will probably not fit yours. Okay, please understand that. With that being said, I'm going to give you guys a top five, my top five games of all time. Do I go in order? How do I, I don't, I don't think I can, dude, the, the top five is just so good. I don't know if I can list them in order. I don't know if I can do it, man. All right, let me, let me, let me think here. Let me think here. Wait, let me, let's do this on paint. All right, I'm not going to necessarily go in order. Number one for me, Modern Warfare 2. I, listen, the game is just, dude, I, I would, I commit heinous crimes to go back to this era of gaming. I commit, dude, I would commit crimes to go back to this right here. Okay. All right. All right. Number two, number two. This is just my opinion. Like I said, please do not make fun of it. All right? Do not make fun of it. Number two for me, Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3, oh, it revolutionized the game. Holy shit. Okay, Bad Company 2 was good. Just please understand, I was, I was too young for Bad Company 2. Okay, I'll be honest, I did not play a lot of Bad, or bad Company 2, bro. Alright? We're only two years... I know, I know, I just didn't play battle Bad Company 2. Number three, and this might hurt some feelings, okay? The time that I had with my friends on this game was so much fucking fun. And I know this is, might be a miss to a lot of you guys. I know it might hurt some feelings, okay? Understand that this is my list and not yours. Halo, Reach. I don't know if you guys know, but we played a game mode called Mongooses vs. Warthogs, and they were custom maps, and they were so much fucking fun. Halo Reach was fucking good. <laughs> so fucking good, dude. I fucking love that game, okay? That game was so fucking good. I know what you're saying. Gina, well, Halo 3. I get it. You know what? I you know what's a sleeper of a pick that's not on my top 5 that I've really liked that some of you guys probably aren't going to like? Halo Wars. Anybody in here play Halo Wars? Halo Wars was a little bit older, but I love that game for some reason. It's not in my top 5. It's not in my top 5. Okay? It's not in my top 5. But I will say Halo Wars was one of my favorites. All right? That shit, I loved commanding my troops and shit, man. All right? I, dude, I'm so glad. I'm so fucking glad you guys agree with me. I thought this was going to be a miss. Because you guys, I, I know there's a lot of, with all due respect, there's a lot of the older uh, generation in here. I was, I, I know Halo 3 is like the GOAT for a lot of you guys. But Halo reached for me. The amount of fun. All right, all right. We got to move on the 4. All right, we got to move on the 4. And this is where my picks are very hard to actually come by because it's something that is just nostalgia for me. Battlefield 4. And if you don't agree with me, that's okay. All right, Battlefield changed the way that I looked at video games forever. And I want to point out something real quick, though. If you don't like Battlefield 4, that's okay. But did anybody ever play fucking Operation Locker or Operation Metro uh, 2042 or whatever the fuck it was called? Holy shit, man. Wow, what a good map. 24-7, bro. I was on that server. I was going up and down the elevator throwing my med kits at people, man. Oh, man, what a game. What a game. I feel like this is a pretty bland list, though. I feel like this is a pretty pretty bland list. You guys are probably looking for some... How about we do a top 10? Okay, chat, listen up. I understand that these takes, we are going to be doing now 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Some of the... Okay, some of these games are going to get a little clusterfucked. Okay, I want to apologize about that, okay? Some of these games are going to be just out of the ordinary. And something that I enjoyed when I was growing up and, like, what I grew up because of, you know? Number five? I gotta go there, though. I gotta go there. All right? 
B O two. B O two. All right. I gotta fucking go there. I think this is a pretty good list so far, chat. You guys think so? Like I said, this is the games that I grew up on. All right. This is not gonna be a top ten game for you guys. All right. However, however, this is my opinion. All right, this is top five for me. All right, number six, chat. This is where shit's about to get a little more real, okay? And I know I know you guys are going to be like, oh my God, Gino, I don't agree with that. I'm sorry, okay? But this is just my opinion. This is what I grew up on, all right? Number six, it's got to be there. It's got to be there somewhere. Hate on me all you fucking want. All right, Minecraft is... You, you can joke about how I was a child at the time, but if you don't go back every single year and play a week of Minecraft, are you even fucking human, man? Are you even human? Minecraft shapeshifted the world of video games, man. What a fucking good game. What, what a good game, man. What a good game. What a good game. I can't say much more about Minecraft. It was just such a, a icon for me, man. I, it was such an icon for me. Number seven, I'm going to be honest, majority of these games that I grew up on, I played with friends. This is kind of a game that, like, it was my first ever PC game or one of my first ever PC games. And the amount of fun that I had on this, this is going to be a really rough take. In fact, some of you guys have never played this game before, All right? So please, with a grain of salt, okay? Some of you guys might have played this. Some of you guys haven't. Arma. Arma had the fucking original Daisy mod that made Daisy what it is today. All right, Arma Two Daisy was fucking crazy. Okay, was fucking beautiful. Did anybody ever play Arma Three King of the Hill? That shit was delightful. Okay, I love Arma. That is such a good game. All right. I, I also fucked with, like, some Arma mods. I used to play Arma Epoch. If you guys... Arma 3 Epoch, if you guys know what that is, it's kind of like a building-based DayZ shit. Um, we all... I also played, like... Uh, there was, like, game modes like Prison Escape and, like, downloaded mods for that. All right? That was delightful. That was such a good... That was such a good game. Nah, Gina, we gotta finish this. I'd have to go Arma. I'd have to go Arma at seven. All right. Number eight. I think this is a pick that a lot of people are not expecting. And as I said, this is because I had friends to play with this game. All right. I think this is a pick that not a lot of people knew I actually played. But I have way too many hours in it. And I had way too much fun with a clan of mine. With that being said, Rust. I don't think it's the same Rust as it is today, but Rust, when it first came out, did anybody ever play Rust Legacy? Man, what a good time. It Rust is just, man. Man. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What a good fucking game. All right. These last two picks are kind of... They've been, they've been said in stream before. Okay, in fact, Flip just brought one of them up. I can't, I can't make a top 10 without CSGO. In my opinion, Counter-Strike is the greatest first-person shooter of all time. And I will die on that hill. I think Counter-Strike is one of the greatest games of all time. And I can't sit here and say that, like, it's not. You know what I'm saying? I would say number 9 is CS. Now, I could move this up to, like, top 5. But the amount of fun that I had in Modern Warfare 2, Battlefield 3, Halo Reach, Battlefield 4, and BO2 are just, oh. That, dude, this, this era of gaming was so good. This era right here, like, all of these games came out within, like, a five-year span, I believe. Right? Modern Warfare 2 was, like, what, 2009? Battlefield 3 was, like, 2000, I don't know, 10 or 11? This was, like, more so 2013? Right? Battlefield 4. I don't know, actually. I feel like these are all in a five-year span. Man, what a good span of games. That was just... the, the Man. Alright, let's finish this list, chat. 
Number nine is CS for me. Number 10. Okay, we'll do an honorable mention. <laughs> Number 10, though, BO1. I gotta go here. The amount of fun that I... Man. Man. Moon. Ascension. What was the original map on uh, Black Ops 1? Was it Kino? Man, diving down the stairs. <sighs> Number honorable mention. I'll put it there, baby. I'll put it there, chat. Don't worry. I'm sure you guys were wondering. I've had a lot of fun in Tarkov. It's made me who I am today. I, I gotta put it at the honorable mention. I gotta put it there. Alright, it's a, it's it, don't get me wrong, man. It's in a bad state, but I think I think you guys are forgetting about Prime Tarkov, dude. Like SA58 M61 meta. Come on now, man. HK meta. You guys remember the old PK06? It's hard not to put it there. It's really hard. It's really hard not to put it in my top 10 games. With that being said, this is my top 10 games of all time. I'm taking a screenshot and I'm putting this on Twitter.